Hi Sagittarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of January the 11th to January the 18th. I want to thank you again for watching my channel and for all the beautiful people coming in and subscribing to it and leaving me beautiful kind comments uh, about these videos and for all the people requesting private readings with me right now. Uh, I'm truly blessed and I thank you for that. We start our week Sagittarius with a fire card and this fire card is the ten of fire and fire is all about setting our dreams into motion and our thought process and sometimes uh, you know a little risk taking and mainly about self development and this is telling me that some of you are dealing with way 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 too much work right now on your plate and you need to accept help from others allocate some of those jobs to other people it's just way too much for you to do right now because what happens is your life gets out of balance and when your life gets out of balance then you get uh, stressed out when you get stressed out it brings on physical problems so allocate some of those jobs let someone else take some of that load off of you Tuesday, 10 of water. So this is all about some of you, it's showing me, are, are actually enjoying the rewards of a contented and uh, rewarding family life. It's also showing me that your uh, emotional and your material needs are being met right now. Uh, some of you are in a relationship. Know that that relationship is trustworthy. On Wednesday, crowning your week, you have been given the renewal card. And uh, this is all about um, reviewing uh, and, and evaluating your life right now. And um, know that there is a favorable assessment of the facts coming into you. You need to know this. And it's time to move on in a new direction. And often with this release card, um, uh, it changes everything in your life. And it's a phase in your life that's complete, okay? It's time to shake off the old and welcome in the new. Um, staying in the same position that you're in and remaining in this situation um, isn't serving you anymore and you need to walk away. Make yourself uh, do this and don't remain in the same situation. Um, sometimes when we do this, we walk away from situations, we walk away from jobs, we walk away from relationships. There often is relief, but oftentimes there's also sadness. You need to know that you will be able to rely on your friends and your family uh, getting you through this period right now of moving on in a new direction. And they tell me, you know, that basically it can have to do with relationship transitions. On Thursday, you've been given a water card and you have been given the two of water. And uh, this is all about a relationship that's continuing to grow closer. And the reason this relationship is growing closer is they show me the word forgiveness. And there, it, it, that leads me to believe that, you know, there were some little um, challenges along the way in this relationship. And now you have the opportunity to uh, receive or issue forgiveness. And this is what's going to make this relationship grow closer. It will be the positive resolution to any conflict that you two have had. On Friday, you've been given the chariot. Excellent, excellent card. It's the card that, you know, says congratulations because you've successfully completed a recent challenging situation. So you're going to be able to sit back now and smile and revel in that at, at what you have accomplished because what you've accomplished was only brought on by your own free will, your own self-discipline and um, your own sheer willpower. So it was uh, a great leap of faith that some of you have uh, taken forward and uh, some of you may actually be experiencing a promotion in your job. Some of you may be receiving an award and some of you uh, it's actually going to have to do with travel and they show me that you're going to be taking many different modes of uh, vehicles, many different types of traveling vehicles. On Saturday you've been given an air card. And this is the nine of air. Um, this is telling me that you're in a situation right now. And again, the air cards have to do with communicating with others and have to do with the justice and the injustice that comes into our lives and sometimes legal issues. This is telling me that some of you are dealing with these situations and you're expecting the worst to turn out of it. And um, you're losing sleep over this. So you can't lose sleep over this, my friend. You need to be able to deal with uh, this situation in your life and be healthy and be 100% uh, uh, mind, body, and, and spirit. 
On Sunday, the end of the week, you've been given again another air card, and this is the Knight of Air. And this is telling me that some event's coming into some of you very, very quickly, like this knight who charges in on its deep. Um, and you need to take time to, to uh, review all your options when it does come in. Um, and they're telling me that it will, uh, will be dealt with creatively. It's the, the solutions will come to you um, and will be creative in order to deal with this event that's coming in fast. At the end of the week, I did incorporate that one oracle card to tie in this tarot reading. And the card that my guides gave me, and again, this is showing up in other readings, is ask. So, you know what? You need to go within yourself. Go to, your, go to the universe, the source, uh, Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, um, and uh, your angels, and ask them. Uh, ask them to help you in, in any particular situation right now that you're having difficulty with, and they'll immediately go to work on your behalf. So, um, remember, uh, it is also the law of attraction to believe uh, that things will work out and manifest that. Believe and manifest. And also, um, you need to be patient uh, when you do ask for, uh, for help because everything comes to you at the exact perfect timing. I wish you a great remainder to today, Sagittarius, and I wish you a, a very, very optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote, and the quote that I leave you with today is, success isn't about how much money you make, it's about how you make a difference in people's lives. See you again next week, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friend.